today I hope you're having a great day and you are ready to move and um, we have a session planned on the mat we are going to be using our TheraBand you want to make sure you have a TheraBand that is as tall or a little bit taller than you you're going to want to have a lot of slack on it and you want a medium to yeah like a medium resistance I would say that would be the ideal okay if it's too strong it, it might be a little bit hard at certain times to work with so mediums quite um I find versatile you can always choke up and make it a little bit more difficult or choke down and make it a little bit more easy so okay all right so that's what we're going to be doing today and just again inspired by different posts that I have um put up in the past in Instagram kind of sequencing things together and hoping to give you like fun ideas of what you can do at home with um, little props and how those props can kind of um, mix up our regular routines. I think it makes it more fun. It also provides assistance and then it also adds extra challenge. So props are fun to use, okay? And they're, they're easy to have at home too, all right? So let's get started. We are going to start standing. I am a fan starting standing I just feel that it um, gets our blood moving and circulating it's a dynamic way to warm up you're gonna bring your strap behind your shoulder blades just underneath your armpits we're gonna stand heels together toes apart now if you notice I've got my mat pushed out a little away from me here because I want to stand on a hard surface you can stand on your mat Mine's quite squishy, so um, it's just that much more challenging. And we're going to work on some balance work in the beginning, so I'm just choosing to be on my hard floor. Okay, here we go. Sorry, little interruption there. Heels together, toes apart. You're going to hold pretty close in to your strap. You're going to reach your arms forward as you lift up onto your toes. Press your heels together. If you need to readjust your feet at the top, do so, so your heels stay in contact, and then just come down. Wrap the backs of your legs together, squeeze your glutes, and down. And just breathe, okay? So breathe normally. Just make sure that you're in a breath pattern, whatever you're doing. Don't hold your breath. So as you lift up, really squeeze the backs of those legs together. The strap here is behind your shoulder blades because it's an interesting place to put it. It gives us feedback. I want you to think of pressing your ribs back against the strap, or you can think of inhaling and bringing your air back where the strap is. So really expanding your upper back into the strap, okay? Different ways to say it, all the same thing. Just trying to bring our air back there. And as we do that, that helps us just slightly engage our core, okay? Our center. This is not a core exercise, but we always want to be engaged head to toe. Everything in our bodies works together, okay? And cohesion. Lifting up, lower down. Let's go for three and two. Keep the fronts of your shoulders open as you extend your arms and lower it down good job you guys take the strap away from those shoulder blades go ahead and find either end of the strap in each hand you're going to let the strap go down onto the floor and we're going to stand into it here you're going to have your um, feet sit bones apart in parallel and then just grab make fists palms are facing in towards each other i'm going to really grab at the end of my strap here because i'm going to want that length we're going to squat sit it back reach your arms forward of your shoulders and lift sit it back and lift that's it arms up and glutes back good as you send your glutes back draw your belly button towards your spine so make sure you don't dump your abs forward Yes, we're focused on our glutes, but sometimes we do this and then we just sort of like dump the abs forward. So pull them in and up. Arms go out and down and out and down for five and four. So just warming up that body three 
and two, last one, and stand it up. Now, I'm just gonna turn to face you on the side. Take your left foot out, keep your right foot in. You can stay standing where you are. From here, we're going to continue those arms flying out to the side. I want you to lengthen your left leg back behind you. We're gonna teeter-totter forward. So chest forward, leg straight back, lift it up, and your arms fly out. I call this airplane. And then you're gonna lift back up straight to standing. You're gonna lever out, reaching forward through the crown of the head, back through your toes, and lift it back up to standing. So now you, nice, you guys know why I chose not to be standing on my mat. It's just that much more challenging. Lots going on here. Big challenge at the beginning of a class, but this really helps you connect all your pieces, head to toe, and back up again. All right, that was good. So let's go left foot into your strap. Make sure it's right in the center there. And line your feet up with your sit bones. Send those right toes behind you. When you're ready, take an inhale. And reach chest forward, leg back. Arms reach and pull out on that strap. And lift it up. Here's where if you quote unquote dump your abs, it's gonna be a lot harder to find stability in this exercise. So it's really about cinching everything in around your spine to help you have the stability as you move forward and up. Otherwise, we've got all of our external members here pulling us apart at every end. Let's go one more just because we can and lift it up. Woo, okay. Good job, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna come down onto our mats. I'm just gonna slide mine a little bit closer here. You can keep that foot in the strap. Sit down into the middle of your mat. You're going to get that right foot back into the strap. So both feet are in the strap, legs together. And you're gonna choke up pretty far towards your feet on your strap here. Lift your spine up tall towards the ceiling. We're just going to row our elbows back behind our waistband and reach the arms forward. Exhale, pull back, lift the chest. Inhale forward, pull it back, lift the chest. So you can go for a little upper back extension here. I love to start with a little bit of extension, just opening the chest feels so good. We spend so much time in forward flexion in our daily activities. It's really good to just open that chest and strengthen those upper back muscles is what's going to help us regain a more upright posture, right? Those upper back muscles are so stretched out in so many of the things that we do and therefore weakened, okay? All right, one more time. Row it back, elbows behind. Pinch your elbows in towards your sides. I want you to lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Arch your back up and back, not too far. And restack your shoulders over your hips and reach your arms long. We'll do that twice more. Elbows back, pinch your upper arms down onto your rib cage as you arch up and back. And restack the spine. Reach the arms forward. One more time. Elbows back, pinch your upper arms down onto your body as you reach the heart up and back behind you. Restack the spine, shoulders over your hips and reach your arms forward. Good. I'm gonna scooch slightly forward and we're gonna roll it down, okay? So here we go. Press those feet out of your strap as you slowly start to tip that pelvis and round it all the way down. One vertebra at a time, scooping that belly. Let your head come down. Let the fronts of your shoulders open here. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Take a nice big inhale here. With an exhale, curl your head, neck, and shoulders forward. Just coming up into a chest lift. And now I want you to squeeze your belly button in towards your spine. Press out on that strap and lift your legs off of the mat. Here we go for our hundred. We breathe one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 
five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Strong arms, strong pumps coming from the back of your arms. Belly button to your spine. 30 more. Last 20. Good, now bring those legs all the way up. Head and chest come down. Elbows down onto your mat. Keep your legs nice and straight. Here we go for the rollover. Take an inhale here with an exhale. You're gonna peel your tail up, reaching your legs back behind you, parallel to the floor. Keep your elbows on your mat. From here, you're gonna lift your feet up towards the ceiling, open the hips, and come back into that rollover. Lift and press out and away from the strap. Squeeze the glutes and back one more time press up and back now roll it down with control elbows stay down shoulders stay down that's it good job you guys reach your legs out and away from you at a 45 exhale once again roll it back and lift the legs up squeeze the glutes and lower down lift up and squeeze Lower down, one more. Up and squeeze, lower down, roll it down. One vertebra at a time. Keep the backs of your shoulders in contact with the mat as best you can. And here we go, those legs are gonna lower all the way to the floor without popping your head or chest up. Use the strap to help you pull your belly button in. Go with control, one vertebra at a time all the way down there's the floor good back to your shoulders to the floor open the chest here take a nice big inhale with your exhale we're gonna roll it up and here we go chin to the chest round rolling scoop the belly send it back behind you round all the way up pull out on the strap straight arms bring your nose over your knees and restack the spine, lifted, seated nice and tall. From here, we're gonna do a little spine twist. Flex your feet, toes to the ceiling. You're gonna pull the right arm straight back, twist towards the right, face forward. Left pulls in, you twist and forward. Right and forward. Now careful not to kink your wrist. So keep your wrist straight and strong. You are pulling from the back of the shoulder. And as you pull, I want you to almost think of leaning forward as you spin up and around, okay? So I don't wanna see leaning back or a compression of your spine. I want you to lift up. If someone put their hand on your head, you're gonna grow taller and you're gonna press your spine and the top of your head against their hand. Does that make sense? We're gonna go two more and one more. Good job, you guys. All right, so from here, what I want you to do is just take your left foot out of the strap. We're gonna roll it back down, nice and easy. Keep your chest lifted forward here. Bend your right knee into your chest. We're going to lift the arms up just above your shoulders. Lift the left leg up, it's long and straight away from you. And we're gonna bend and straighten, opposite legs alternating. Bend and straighten, good. So I'm not really changing anything with my arms. I'm just keeping them lifted towards the ceiling. Belly button to your spine, shoulders down. That's it. One more, bend it in. Left foot into the strap, right foot reaches long. Bend and change, bend and change. Watch your hips, make sure that your hips aren't hiking or going from left to right. Stay right down on the top of yourself here. That's it. Let's go for two. One more. 
both feet come into the strap. Here we go. You're gonna choke up a little higher on that strap. Not much, maybe the one hand width higher. You're gonna curl your chest even higher. Double leg stretch. Arms go up, legs go straight out, and come in. And really pull back. And belly in, keep your gaze through your thighs or on your belly. Last one and head and neck can come all the way down. Good job. All right, from here, take your left leg out, bring it long down on the floor, right leg lifts up towards the ceiling, hold onto your strap in just with the left hand, elbow down, right arm is long by your sides. Here we go, anchor this left leg down. We're gonna cross the body, circle around, lift it up and pause, cross and circle, lift up and pause. Cross circle, lift up and pause. Opposite direction, pause. Out around, cross lift up. Out around, cross lift up. Hold back onto the strap, choke up towards your foot, both hands. Here we go. Take an inhale to prepare, exhale. Curl it up, lifting the chest. Keep going, press that leg into the strap. Lift yourself up into a modified teaser. Pull out on the strap, arms wide. Hold it here. Left leg lifts up and down. Up, down. Four, three, two, last one. Lower it down, good job. From here, let's go all the way forward, sit it up. Get your left foot into the strap, right foot out, and we're gonna roll it down. Head comes down, left leg lifts up. Hang on to that strap with your right hand. Right elbow down, left arm all the way down towards the floor. We're gonna cross the body, circle out around, lift up and pause. Cross and circle, lift and pause. Cross, lift and pause. Reverse, open, cross, pause. Open out, circle around, pause. One more, keep pressing that leg out of the strap. Both hands hang on to the strap. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, round it forward. Lift your torso up, push your leg away from that strap. Pull out, here we go. Right leg up and down, up and down, up and down. For three, lift the chest. Two, one, good job. Come all the way up. You got it, all right. Put your right foot back in, left foot comes out. From here, you're going to turn onto your left side. Keep your left knee bent, come down onto the forearm, hang on to the strap with your um, left hand, yeah. Right hand goes behind your head. Bring this leg to the level of your hip. Let's externally rotate it. We're gonna lift and lower lift and lower. That was like a total improv. I was like, what do I want to do here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so because I don't know, let's change it, all right? Foot down to the floor, arm overhead, look down to your elbow, lift up hand to foot, and arch over, hand to foot, arch over for four, and three, reach that leg away from you. Two, and one. Now come back into this position here, hand behind your head. The leg is parallel, you're gonna swing it forward and swing it back. Forward and back. Now when I say back, it does go back, but it doesn't go so far back that I'm dumping into my low back and crimping my low back or overarching my low back, okay? Keep your hips, your pelvis stable, which means your pubic bone and your tailbone are pointing out that way, all right? Even as the leg goes this way. So make sure you're not looking like that. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but it helps to understand. One more time. Good job, you guys. All right, put this foot down, hold onto the strap with your right hand. Lift up onto this hand. I'm gonna scoot so that my feet are on my mat. They were on my mat. Bring this 
knee slightly back. We're gonna lift up onto the left knee into a modified side plank. Lift up on this strap and lower down. Yep, and lower down. One more time and lower down. Here we go. We're gonna send that left foot behind us and we're gonna lift up into a side plank. Ready? Lift the hips, straighten the legs, pull up on the strap, lower the hips, legs stay straight. Lift, lower the hips, lift, lower the hips, sit it down, face, no, let's not face forward. Let's turn on to your, uh, turn on to all fours. All right, we're on all fours. Your right hand still has that strap. Find your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Here we go. You're gonna hang on. I'm gonna put my fist down so I don't lose the strap. You're gonna press the right leg back, bend it in. Press back, bend it in. Press back, bend it in. If you find that this is too much tension for that right arm, you can go ahead and grab a hold of the strap in the left hand too. So you've got a strap in each hand, no problem. Okay, or you find the knee maybe rubbing against the strap. That's it. Let's go for three. That leg goes out and back. Push through your heel. Last one. Hold it here. Touch the toes down. Lift the heel up. Down and up. We've got eight. Seven. The leg goes up. The belly button pulls into your spine. Pull your heart through your biceps. Pull your shoulders to your waist. Broad chest. Belly up and in. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe let's go three. I'm the worst counter. Two, I can't talk and count. One, good job. Bring your knee down. Let's turn back around to the right and face it forward, okay? Bring your left foot into the strap. You're going to turn onto your right side. Bottom leg is bent. The strap comes into the right hand. You're on your right elbow here. Let's go left hand behind the head. We did a couple leg raises just to start. You can externally rotate this top leg to get more openness in the hip. Here we go. Leg goes down, left arm up overhead, turn to look down at your elbow. You're gonna lift hand and foot and arch. Reach and arch. Four. Keep pressing out of that strap. And three. And two. Last one. Woo! I rolled back on that one. Hand back behind your head. Leg to parallel. Swing the leg forward. Swing it back. Careful here that you don't fall into your top waistband. So keep reaching that leg away from you. You can bring your left hand down onto your hip. That helps as a little self, self cue, gives you feedback as to what's happening in your body in and space, okay? Let's go three and two. Last one, bring it down. Take the strap into your left hand. Turn it over onto all fours. Here we go. Line yourself up and press the left leg back and up. Bend it under, back and up. When I say up, it's coming to the level of your torso at most. It's not coming above that, okay? So press back and out through your heel. You need to feel this in the glute. Good. Don't forget your shoulders, so don't be here. Push down out of your hands. Lift up out of your shoulders. Broaden the chest. That's it. Let's go for four and three. Oh my goodness, you guys, I forgot the side, side planks. And one. Lower the leg, lift the leg. Not to worry, we'll get back there. <laughs> Eight and seven. Six and five. Don't rush it. Four and three and two. Last one. All right, now 
turn back onto your right side, come down onto the hip. Plant your left foot down, the right knee goes back slightly. You are lifted onto your right hand. Here we go. We're gonna lift up, lower the hips. Right now you're on your right knee, right knee stays down. One more time. You lift it up, lower down. Put the right foot back behind your left. Here we go. Straighten the legs, lift your hips up, lower the hips, and lift. Lower, lift, lower, and turn around to face forward. Good job. All right, take that strap out from your feet. Come up to kneeling. Come into maybe like the middle of your mat. Bring your hold on your band just a little wider than your shoulders here. We're gonna lift your arms up overhead, pull apart on that band, and circle the band back behind you as you squeeze your glutes and press your hips forward. Circle the band back overhead, bring it against your hips, press your arms back behind you, press your hips against the band. You can look just forward, not up. I don't know why I was looking up. And keep that press in the glutes as your arms circle back up overhead. Pull apart on the band. Can you go all the way back to your glutes? Circle up overhead. Press the band against your hips. Press your arms back behind you. Turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. Pull your arms down. Turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. Face forward. Reach it up. Circle up overhead. Pull apart on that band. Lift your chest up. Little upper back extension as you press your hips forward. Restack the shoulders over your hips. Arms circle back up overhead. Press against your hips, hips against the band. Pull your hands down and back behind you. Here we go. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look to the left. One more time. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look forward. Bring your arms up. Okay? One more thing. Here we go. Bring that chokehold in. No wider than the shoulders. You're going to lean it back straight like a board from your knees to your shoulders. Press your hips forward. Bring your band to your hips. Press against the band with the hips as you bring your shoulders back over your knees. Lift the arms up. Super important, shoulders, hips, knees. It stays straight. So as you go back, don't sit back, okay? And don't go into an arch, not this time. Here we go. Inhale, lean it back. Press your glutes forward. Strap against your, your hips as you press back up and lift. You guys, I think you have it. Here we go. Inhale and exhale, lift. Inhale. Lean it back, stretch those thighs, and lift. One more time, inhale back, exhale, lift. Good job. Bring your strap down in front of you. We're gonna finish standing, okay? So let's bring it down. I want you to bring your right foot into the strap, tuck your toes underneath you, and we're gonna finish with a little bit of lunges here. So you're gonna lift up into your lunge. Make sure your feet are aligned with your sit bones. Bicep curl in as you lunge down, sorry, and lift. Lunge down and curl and lift. So here I am on my mat and it's gonna be an extra challenge, but I should be ready for it now, right? Good. Down and curl, lift, that's it. Last time for the sake of time. We're gonna go all the way down, bring the knee down, let go of that curl. Bring the right foot out, knee comes back. Left foot's gonna step through. I'm trying to get it right in the center of that band there. Make sure when you lift up, your feet are already lined up. And we're gonna choke hold up on that strap. Elbows to your waistband, lift it up. As you go down, you're gonna press back, bending in as you lift up. Press back, straight arms, bend in. So little tricep press, pressing back and bend in. Let's see, would it be better here? Let's press back when we come up. 
Sorry, guys, can you follow me? Press back when we come up. Bend in when we go down. Press back, we just get more tension that way. And down, and back, down, and back, down, and back. Last one, back. All right, from here, step it forward. Bring your foot out of that strap, and you guys are finished. So those are kind of some fun things we can do with a band. It's sort of endless. This is my favorite piece of equipment for traveling. Um, <laughs> but before I knew all these fun tricks, I literally thought the band was like to stretch your hamstrings as you laid on your back. So <laughs> um, it's been a great discovery. And you can just, there's kind of no end to the creativity. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish you an energetic day. And um, that's it. Okay. So let me please write any comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd love to see more of. I'll make sure to be checking those and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And again, thanks for joining you guys and moving with me. Um, I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye. If you guys liked this video and you want to see more, I invite you to come to my website at goneadventuringpilates.com and register for free. The link is in the description of this video. Join me for more adventures and let's have fun moving together.